Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Crisp Purpose back at it again with another Gems of War world event video for you guys. Now in this one, uh, we're going to be going through a team for the Through Fire and Flame world event. Um, it's going to be a pretty interesting world event here because I didn't even notice this man. I was in the way of recording a video and then I realized that the medal for this event is a skull damage medal. The entire time I thought it was going to be a spell damage medal. It's a skull damage medal. All troops in the event are going to be getting 160% um, percent skull damage. Um, and I was lost because I was like halfway through the other video. And I was like, this is not spell damage at all. So I'm back to square one here. So I'm going to showcase to you guys a team that you can use for this world event. Before we go into the team, let's take a look at the scoring here. So the battles that we're going to be facing for this um, world event are going to be up against the Ghost Ogre, which is the new troop for the week that's been added into the Glory Shop, the Lava Troll, the Doomed Gargoyle, Dracus 1337, uh, Uvashka, and the Arachnian Weaver. Now those are the battles that we're going to be facing. Different phases for the battles, but the most important thing for the battles is the scoring, right? The Ghost Ogre is going to be giving you um, eight axes. And I just want to point out each axe is worth one point. Each sword is worth five points. Now, the Ghost Ogre is giving eight axes. The Lava Troll is giving 12 axes. The Doomed Gargoyle is giving 16 axes. Dracus 1337 is giving four swords. Uvashka is giving eight axes and four swords, and the Arachnian Weaver is giving eight swords. So the Arachnian Weaver, I think, is all the way at the top, because just multiply it and you'll see. Um, and then we have in second place, Uvashka with eight axes and four swords, and then Dracus 1337 is giving four swords. So you always want to go for your Arachnian Weaver battles first, followed by your Uvashka battles, then your Dracus battles always want to take Vashka over Dracus. That is very, very important for this world event. So let's move into a team right here. And as you guys can see, I played up a couple battles. So all I need to do now is just pick one of these because they're all the Ghost Ogre. So up front on my team, we're going to be having the Ocularian Leech. This is a easily acquired um, ultra rare troop. I think it's the ultra rare. Yes, from the faction All Seeing Eye, which is associated to my favorite kingdom, which is Darkstone. The Ocularian Leech has a 13 mana cost of green and um, red. His spell is Leech. Very simple spell, right? He will explode four gems, then he will steal magic plus one attack from the first enemy. His traits are Life Drain. He will gain four life when an enemy dies. He also has Deep Magic. He will gain five magic when attacking Delves. And he has Fast. He starts battles with 50% mana. Now that fast right there is going to be very helpful in getting this sucker spell ready real quick so that he can simply leech and steal those enemies' attack. Bork 3000 is going to be on this team, one of the best generators in the game. Bork is going to be generating um, with his uh, spell right here, Metal Beak, destroying magic plus one gems and creating three bomb gems. And he's in the second slot. Um, the Writhing Staff right here um, is going to be our weapon of choice. This weapon right here deals scatter damage, and then it will create eight skulls and entangle the first enemy. The weapon also has a mighty draining title and wraith-like in the weapon upgrade. It's going to be pretty good because the entangle right there is going to become very useful as the battles progress and the enemy has more and more attack, so you're going to be able to entangle them and stop them from hitting you with those skulls that you're putting on the board, just in case they don't match in a 4-gem match. Um, the class of choice, of course, once you see Bork on the team, is going to be Mechanist. Why? Because of the clockwork final trait. All mech allies start with 50% mana. The setup for the talents are Serendipity, Precision, Vanguard, Razor Armor, um, Mentor, Banishment, and of course, Armor Plating. I also have bought up in the shop for the event, so I have the potion of enchantment, potion of explosion, potion of rejuvenation, a potion of armor, and the potion of blessing. And I also have attached my medals, right? I have a badge and one medal. So yeah, that is going to be the setup for my team right there. The banner of choice right here is the eagle banner from the Stone Song Airy um, faction. This is the plus two on brown, plus one on yellow, and then we're minusing purple. The reason why I'm minusing purple here, I have Rothamon at the back of the team. So as to support after I cast my um, my writing staff. So um, 
yeah, it's, it's just going to be here. I think Bork can get mana to it without matching gems. Uh, Rathamon is one of the only troops, I think, in this restriction. Let's take a look at the restriction here. This restriction is crazy, right? So the restriction is Warrior and Generator. Those are the only troop types you can use. Um, troop roles, I should say. And then the color restriction is brown and red. Um, so if you look at the troops right here, you're going to notice that there's almost no skull creating troops in this restriction like it is crazy like nothing right almost nothing there's true damagers here there's heavy spell damagers here there's devouring troops here but man there's almost nothing for skull damage nothing no troop is spawning skulls um very little are spawning skulls this is crazy i think the the devs have gone mad for a bit for a minute right here um yeah let me know what you guys think about this restri restriction man see i'm not even calling out it out pro uh, properly this restriction is crazy but we're still gonna try and see if we can finish this event um so yeah as you guys can see ocular and leech is powered up steal their attack that's what you want to do then you want to follow up with a weapon but as you guys can see um i'm in the early fights right now it it works really really well it's gonna work even better for you guys in the later fights um, because you don't have to uh, worry about you know, getting damage. You're using a 50% mana star class in which you have the ability to entangle them. Right, so steal, steal attack. So there it is. No attack. Right, they have no attack whatsoever. And there it is. Skull damage. And you Bork. If you want, you can steal attack again. There it is. And he died. He died after that one. All right. So, yeah. The fights are super easy now. Um, let's see if I can wait and get some battles deeper down i'll be right back all right so we're back with a more difficult battle right here so we're going up against the doomed gargoyle with the same team uh ocular and leech boar 3000 writhing staff and then rathamon at the back of the team now rathamon right here is going to be essential um because you're going to find some enemies that have the ability to entangle your first slot, right? Since you're going to be stealing attack, you want to ensure that you're able to use that attack against the enemy troops. Um, and Rathamon is going to be helping you out with his spell, the Moon Guardian, right? He's going to be creating a mix of 24 purple gems and skulls. Then he's going to be um, cleansing all allies. That's the most important part of his spell. Um, giving souls is not so important, um, you know, you have a vault event for that. And uh, talking about a vault event, hopefully you guys did well in this vault event. I didn't get to farm it that much. Didn't have the time. So, yeah. Let's hop into this fight. This is against the Doomed Gargoyle. Let's see if we can uh, make this one a quick one. All right. Let's see if we can get our troop spell ready. We got Bork. Now we need to steal some attack. First assignment. Steal attack. Right? Even before that. Now we want to get Rathamon powered up. We don't want to entangle them as of yet. Um, we want to make use of this first. And then we do that, steal more attack. Now we follow up with the weapon. There we go. Big kill. They might hit us, but we're going to have more attack. Bork. Steal. Oh, we could have killed them right there. That was almost done. Let's deal the damage. And skull hit. Yeah, so your Ocular and Leech is going to be able to remove a lot of attack from these enemy troops as the battles progress. Um, but of course, you want to ensure that you're going for the lower level battles as much as possible. I think some persons might even bypass this metal and, and go with complete spell damage. Um, because there are options there. If you want to go straight up spell damage, you can. But um, I'm going to follow the restriction and go with skull damage here. Alright, so we got an Uvashka fight. So we're going to go for that over the Lava Troll, right? We're going to get 12 axes as opposed to getting... Eight axes and four swords. Those four swords are valued way more. All right, let's go for an Avashka fight. And this should be pretty easy. Because they're still at a low level. Alright, let's just cast the staff. Real quick clean. All right, that was a clear at super fast speeds. Alright, so hopefully you guys and gals found this video helpful. You found this video informative. If you did... Remember to smash the like button and comment and let me know what you guys think. I will be dropping the description of the scoring in the description. 
what am I talking about? I'm going to be dropping the scoring in the description. So if you guys and gals want to go check it out, it will be there. All right, guys. Catch you all next one. Peace.